dear students of class 8a and 8b today's lesson lesson number 11 topic the revolt of 1857 the revolt of 1857 in this lesson i have mentioned uh, five points in the blackboard please look at it consequences role of british parliament role of indian people queen victoria's proclamation and final finally conclusion these are the following points and now i am going to explain the following points as i mentioned in the board now i am going to explain it now consequences of the revolt of 1857 although the revolt of 1857 started throughout india under the active participation of the indian sepoys yet it also left vivid impression among the indian people the indian people of different categories did not have any knowledge how they would protest against the injustice done to them by the british but this was the first time only the indian sepoys decided to teach the british a good lesson but a concrete platform also was made by the british how suddenly they introduce a new type of uh, cartridges to the indian sepoys to use what type of cartridges a cartridges whose paper uh, was made of pads of pigs and uh, cows but both the two communities of india hindus and muslims hated it the hindus hated uh, utilizing uh, the pads of cows to be Uh, uh, to be against their uh, religious uh, practices and religion on the contrary the muslims also hated the fats of the pigs because they had a common hatred for the pigs and it is due to that due to that reason almost all uh, sepoys of india they combinedly they collectively got themselves united on the question of rejecting the cartridges of and uh, the newly introduced enfield rifle and as a result of it that anger that wave of protest first first started from barakpur a sepoy named mangal pande uh, he refused to use the cartridges of enfield rifle and also insisted uh, on other uh, sepoys uh, from insisted on also prevented also prevented the other sepoys of india from from using the cartridges of the enfield rifle because of that same reason so and it is due to that reason the revolt was started but ultimately this revolt was suppressed by the british although indian sepoys made an attempt to stop the british rule in india but yet indian people and their disunity uh, left uh, certain uh, drawbacks and as a result the revolt of 1857 was suppressed by the british initially the indian sepoys and the people of india combinedly uh, achieved success uh, they in some battles they defeated the british soldiers but uh, it was due to the effort of headquarter of british east india company reinforce reached india and then the Indi the sepoys of in the sepoys of uh, our country india means the british sepoys were able to defeat indian sepoys and the revolt of 1857 was suppressed so this is the consequences these are the consequences of the revolt of 1857 next point role of british parliament role of british parliament you know an act was passed in the british parliament in order to uh, shift the rule of east east india company to british crown under the terms of that act it was decided that the the rule of queen victoria will be started and queen victoria also agreed to accept the you know Uh, to accept the responsibilities assigned to her 
and as a result of it, a number of uh, uh, you know distinguished people also were you know also were selected to form a council, and uh, the post of uh, governor general also was abolished, and instead of it, a new post also was created. The name of the post was viceroy. So the last governor general was Lord uh, Lord Canning. So Lord Canning was the last viceroy of India, and at the same time, the first, uh, the last governor general of India, but at the same time, the first viceroy of our country also. Because during the reign, during the governor generalship of Lord Canning, the post of governor general was abolished by the British Crown or and the British Parliament under one act. passed by the parliament and at the same time a new post was created instead of governor general the name of the post was viceroy and lord canning also became the first viceroy of india and next point role of indian people role of indian people the people of india of all parts got themselves united against the injustice done to them by the british but the unity which was expected from the indian people of all categories of all sections it had not become and as a result of it the sepai mutiny or the revolt of 1857 was suppressed the british was able the work had become easier to the british to suppress the revolt of 1857 but some zamindar some talukdars some you know uh, rich people of india decided to support the stance of indians who started the revolt against the british government why because they felt insulted since they were insulted by the british they strongly supported the stance of indian sepais and ultimately the revolt of 1857 which was started throughout india this revolt had become if this revolt had left a great impact of indian society impact of indian people and most of the people of india they did not support it but a very less number of people supported it that's why the revolt of 1857 failed to achieve success now queen victoria's proclamation queen victoria proclaimed to be the ruler of india the new ruler of india and this proclamation encouraged indian indians a lot and they realized that now the rule of british under queen victoria would give them a new way so that new way and people would be would be able to uh, lead a very rich and prosperous life a very happy life a very steady life the life what they expected from the previous rulers from the during the rule of governor generals where there was no intervention of uh, in the emperor or empress of india the governor general took its advantages they ruled uh, they ruled india uh, mercilessly and imposed many restrictions of on indian people and has, as a result of it the sepais also faced a lot of problem and the sepai mutiny started but under the proclamation of queen victoria it was decided that indian people would be treated equally and so many economic concessions were given to indian people so that they must become loyal to the british and the british realized that uh, it was it was it was a golden opportunity for them to avail why because they wanted to they wanted to adopt the policy of divide and rule the unity between the hindus and muslims gave a very top gave the british a very 
very uncomfortable situation and hence they had to uh, tackle the uh, stop the, the top resistance of these two communities hindus and muslims although the british directly accused the muslims to be responsible for the revolt of 1857 yet they uh, confiscated the properties of others also although they confiscated the properties of the muslims and hindus who were uh, the part of uh, indian uh, indian sepai mutiny or revolt of 1857 yet the other sections of people who did not who did not a part of sepai mutiny of revolt and uh, revolt of 1857 the british allowed them to enjoy a very steady life and did not confiscate their properties and the properties which are confiscated they got them they got them it back ultimately temporarily there was peace in the country the peace also as established the rule of the people also was temporarily established now last point conclusion indian people started a revolt against the british government for the first time and this revolt yet is considered as the first war of independence or the revolt of the people uh, revolt of the sepais it is uh, considered as the revolt of the sepais this revolt of sepais is considered as the first war of independence because there was no combined agitation there was no collective uh, collective a revolt against the british government by the indians before before that revolt that's why this revolt had become the first war of independence although british historians had narrated it as the sepai mutiny the mutiny of the sepais but according to indian historians and historians of europe some european countries this is this was not sepai mutiny but the first war of independence because of the british uh, unjust british because of the unjust rule of the british because of the rare repressive policies because of uh, the protest of indians against the british rule this uh, revolt is considered as the first war of independence up to this my dear students thank you